It was the 10th of July 2015. Um, Sasha was on a going on a school trip to Richmond Park and around 10 o'clock in the morning I got a call from school saying don't panic, um, which obviously when your school calls and says don't panic you know something's happened. And she said Sasha was unconscious um, and the air ambulance was on the way. I was um, making a den with my friend Iggy and um, we heard a crack in the trees and then um, we started running and I tripped over like a rock or something. And then this tree fell on me and it cracked in half. I could see Sasha lying under this branch um, and all the doctors um, there were policemen there as well and they said um, don't touch him just stay to the side um, and from there um, they stabilised him at the scene sorry um <laughs> Um, one of the doctors said he had a broken femur and he'd broken both his arms, a one, well, one wrist and one arm. He'd broken his pelvis in three places, his lower back and all the ribs on his right side. Um, and his skull had been um, cracked from his eye to his ear and a piece of his skull had gone into his brain. Live having lived in London most of my life, I've you know, seen the air ambulance or read news stories about it, but I had no idea it was a charity. When I think about what I used to think about air ambulances, it was that they get the patient to hospital quicker, but actually that's not the key thing. The key thing is what they can do at the scene um, that saves such a life. The, the, the whole world changed to me after, after the accident, you know, because you look things totally different now. I look work totally different, I look everything else in my life totally different because one second could change everything, you know. And nothing's that important and nothing's that stressful after what we went through that you can't even compare. I don't have any problems in my life anymore, you know. Without running ambulance, he wouldn't be here.